وَبَارِكُ بِعَدَدِ مَعْلُومَاتِكَ وَبَارِكُ وَسَلِّمُ وَسَلِّ عَلَيْهِ So take it from my number four. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَا Verily we created man fi ahsani taqweem We created man of the best stature. Summa radadnahu and then we reduced him. Summa radadnahu and then we take him back. Asfala safili into the lowest of the low. Mean very weak. Very weak. So that is a natural process. It happened to everyone. And it happened to everything as well. Look at the plant for example. It sprouts. Then it sinkens. Then it becomes a strong tree. Got it. Then it produce, once again it is becoming weak and then ultimately falls down. Got it? Yes. Last night I was writing one article. So I mentioned there, in the alam mumkinun li tarkibihi wa taghirihi wa ta'addudihi. Like Bismillah. Oh, so this one will. There is no need of that good quality. Yes, yes, Tariqa. <laughs> so these are terms. So a term I will not translate but only explain. The word is number one. Mungkin. Mungkin, maybe or may not, does not make difference. Yes, sometimes maybe it was not. Yes, sometime in future it will not be. Got it? Everything in this world, sometimes maybe it was not. And sometime is coming, then it will disappear, it will vanish. So when something is like that, this is the terminology in logic that that is called mumkin. Mumkin means its existence is not a must. Its existence is not a must. Number two, this is work up. A combination. Everything in this world is a combination. Everything in this world is combination. combination. And number three. Mutawayyar.
changing. Everything in this world is changing. Even the now living entity, they are changing or not? Yes. So everything in this world is changing. You are changing or not? Yes. Every single individual is changing. And in every set, because changing is the natural requirement of the king. So that is a constant, continuous process in every second. The changes is happening to every single particle in this world. Got it? But you see one another every day, so you don't feel changes on the faces of one another. If I why somebody will go somewhere and then after one year he will come. Yes, yeah, sometimes he cannot even die. He said, You didn't recognize me. I am on my oh yes. Because changes. Got it? So now, the world is Mumkin, number one. Number two? Muraka. number three. Say, Mutawayir. Got it? Yes. So, everything which is like this, it means, Sometimes big. It was not in existence. And in future, it will not remain. And thus, we see things are vanishing. People are dying. People are dying. Why? Because of these three things. And these three things are interconnected. These three things are interconnected. Because anything which is more recover of that is a combination. So it means that it's part what in existence before then it combined together, then it came into existence. Murakab is happening like this. Got it? Yes. And it means that this is Hadis, ephemeral. This is? What? What's the opposite of ephemeral? Say. Eternal. Yes. Eternal. Got it? Yes. Now, for its very existence, for its existence, It needs an entity other way around. Why? Because cannot create itself Mm 
you cannot create itself, nor it can create another one again. I was unable to create myself. Got it? And I was unable to create another human. I was unable to create a cow. I was unable to create a plant. I was unable to create a stone or dust. Because my quality and their quality is one and the same mumkin. They are mumkin and I am mumkin. And in being mumkin, I am equal to all this creature. Got it? So if you say that this mumkin can create that mumkin, so why that mumkin cannot create this mumkin? Well, yourself? Yes. Your brain is working or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because logic is sometimes, yes, that's a web. So that's why the mind is tangling there. Got it? Yes. So now, it means an entity, other way around. So other way around, an entity who is not mumkin, not work up, not the yes. Got it? So he is not mumkin. So <clears throat> The entity is Wajib. The entity is Wajib. Or Wajib will do. So, which means His existence is must. His existence was must in past. And is must in future. Got it? Which means a governor. Which means a governor. Azaliyun, abadiyun, la bidayat alahu wa la bihayat alah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have a start or begin, now he has an end. Got it? So he is eternal. He is eternal. So now, human, he is one of the mumkinat. He is mumkin. When he is mumkin, so he is murakab. When he is murakab, so to murakab, the tagayurat and the changes will happen. Got it? And these are your art that happen every single second. And ultimately, the Tarayur and the changes that must, the guy who was running like a coyote, now he cannot take two, three steps. Whose side he was seeing small mosquitoes, now he cannot see a donkey even. Yes, his hearing power. From two miles, he was hearing normal sound. Now, you have to shout close to his ear. Got it? He was eating pizza very well. Yes, that much. And now, he cannot digest okra in Bambia. Got it? Yes. Or not? Yes, just name it. Every single thing. So therefore Allah says, it means that you are mungkin, you are not wajib, you are not on your own, you are subject to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You got it or not it? Yes. Little bit difficult? For you, sir? Yes. Little bit difficult.
لیکن لاکن الزین آمن بٹ دوز سو اٹ مینس اٹ ڈز ناٹ ہیو اٹ از ناٹ کنیکٹڈ ٹو دا پریویس آیا دیٹ دس ویکنس ول ہیپن ٹو دوز ہو آر کافر اینڈ اٹ ول ناٹ ہیپن ٹو دوز ہو آر مومن گاٹ اٹ دیٹس اگینسٹ دا ریالٹی دیٹس اگینسٹ دا ابزرویشن دیٹس اگینسٹ دا مشاہدات سو دیٹس وائی وی سیڈ دیٹ دس الا از ناٹ استثناء متصلا دس از نا منقطع سسٹنسنا منقطع مین دیٹ دا کلام اینڈ دا سپیچ از کنیکٹڈ میننگ ڈس کنیکٹڈ میننگ وائز گاٹ اٹ سو دس از اے نیو سبجیکٹ لاکن الذین آمنوا بٹ دوز ہو بلیوڈ فرملی وعملوا الصالحات اینڈ پریکٹسڈ رائچس گڈ ڈیڈ فلہم اجر غیر ممنون عقیدو From what? Aqada yaqidu. What is literal meaning of aqada yaqidu? Yes, to buy and tie. To buy or to tie. Now look. This is. Aqad. Got it? Yes. And that's why not is called the Uqda. From the same word. Uqda. Uqda is what? The knot. Knot is tied. What is knot? The tied. Got it? So Aqida is from Aqada Ya Aqidu. That's number one. Number two, another meaning of Aqada Ya Aqidu is To constitute a contract like Aqdul Bay'a, Aqdul Ijara, Aqdul Shareka, Aqdul Bay'a, sell and purchase. Yes, Aqdul Ijara, rent and lease. Aqdul Shareka, contract of partnership. So there are also two parties are tying or tied to one another. Yes. In Aqad, they are tied to one another until the Aqad is done and the contract is done. Got it? Yeah. For example, somebody proposed this for fire dollar. This called proposal. It's called what? Proposal. Now you have the right either to accept or to reject. Got it? But when you accept it, now I cannot withdraw. Because contract is done. When contract is done, so it is binding. That's why it is called Aqad. Yes? And for in my fiqh book, yes, I have classified all things like that. 
لائک العبادات گاٹ نمبر ٹو فقہ العصر نکاح اینڈ طلاق اینڈ گارڈین اینڈ وارڈ شپ اینڈ تنگز لائک دیر دین دا ترڈ پورشن فقہ المعاملات فقہ المعاملات دا کانٹریکس اینڈ دا انٹریکشنز گاٹ ایڈ the contracts and the interaction like this so uqud fiqh al-mu'amalat is also called fiqh al-uqud fiqh al-uqud mean law of contracts law of contracts so with contracts both the parties they are tied to one another they are tied when I proposed five dollar, as long as you have not accepted, I can withdraw my proposal. Oh, no, 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 I'm not selling it. Yes, and I can take it back because yet that has not become, that has not become binding. Because binding is come acceptance of the proposal. When acceptance is not there, that's not a binding thing. So I can withdraw it. But when you said, I accept it, now that is binding. Got it? Neither I can withdraw, nor you can withdraw. Now we are tied to one another to accomplish the job. Tied to one another to accomplish the job. Got it? The only way to get out of that contract that's a mutual consent. That's what? A mutual consent. And that's called iqala. What? Iqala. In fiqh, that's called iqala. So iqala means dissolution of contract after that it was done. Dissolution of contract after that it was done. So now why iman is called aqidah or any aqidah is called aqidah? Because the guy concerned has tied itself to a specific concept. The guy concerned has tied himself to what? To a specific concept. Whatever the concept is. Hindus also have aqidah. The Sikh have aqidah. The Christians have aqidah. Yes, even the seculars, they have aqidah. Because they tied their, themselves to what? To secularism. The liberals, they have a aqidah because they tied themselves to what? To liberalism. Got it? Got it or not? Yes. So now, Iman which is mentioned in Quran and Hadith. So that is, that we the Muslims, we tied ourselves to the concept of Tawheed and Risala. To the concept of what? Tawheed and Risala and Bas Badal Maut. Three basic aqidahs. Now when you tied, so that knot must be a strong knot. Got it? Not a flip laugh. Strong. So aqidah itself requires strength. Got it? Yes. Certainty. Strength mean? Certainty. So that's why I translated the word Iman who believed firmly. Who believed? Amanu, but those Amanu who believed firmly, and practiced righteous good deeds. And practiced righteous good deeds. So now practicing righteous good deeds. Through aqidah, you t I look, look at me. One is the right aqidah like Islam. And our other aqidah are not the right one. But still, these aqaid, these are tied to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Either in positive sense or in negative sense. So we the Muslims have tied ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in positive sense. 
and those who are other way around, they also tied themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but in negative sense. The relation is there but our relation is positive, their relation is negative. Got it? Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what is the last word of the whole writing? Eternal. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is eternal. Got it? Now based on aqidah, we are availing eternity as well. We are availing? See? Eternity as well and that's why when we will die and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring us back to life. He will bring us back to life and then he will judge and he will decree. So some people they will go to Jannah, they will live there for 10 years, 20 years or what? Eternal. Eternal. And those who will go to Jahannam, the disbelievers, so for how long they will stay there? Eternal. Eternal. Why? Because based on positive or negative relation, our relation to Allah was eternal. Got it? Got it, not it? Yes. So now you came to know that what it means that Allah say Khalidan fiha, Khalidan fiha. They will be forever in Jannah or they will be forever in Jahannam. Got it? So that the reflection of the eternity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you connected yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you will have the reflection of eternity. Even in the in good sense, we will have it. And those other way around, they will have it in a negative sense. Naveed, you are here or you are not? Okay. Because when we go to philosophy and logic, so then 200% focus is needed. <laughs> yes? God? Yes. And that's why sometimes I say that the general public you should not have a very knowledgeable talk because that will go upon their head and they will not get it. Yes, and I told the ulama, you know, that the ulama don't talk philosophically. Yes, their knowledgeable talk to general public, yes, so they will not get any benefit. Got it? And uh, philosophical talk to ulama, so not that they will not take any benefit. No, you will get harm from their side and they will say that Qazi Sahib has lost his brain. Got it? Because that is beyond their approach. But sometimes, what you can say? We are forced by our nature that you have to share that because then that will be a cheating if I will not share what I study and what I know. Got it? So I don't want to cheat you. What do you, say? What do you think? Should I cheat? No. Okay. So, now, وَعَمِلُوا salihat, Righteous good deeds. These are the requirements of Iman. These are Wahab ibn Munabbi. He is a Sufi and he is a philosopher and he is a Tabi'i Alim. But he is a great philosopher. Wahab ibn Munabbi and great Tabi'i. And he is a Alim of Ilm Kalam. So somebody asked him, Allah, That the kalima la ilaha illallah is not the key to Jannah. So to answer yes or no, he didn't say that. But he said, Ma min iftahin illa wasnan. There is no key, but it must have some teeth. That's the basic concept of key. If you will take a nail, that will not work in opening a lock. Yes? Because the teeth are not there. So it must have the teeth. So they said, Oma, what are the teeth of this key? 
So he said, Al Amalu Saliha, the righteous good deeds. Yes, when you said La ilaha illallah, so look, you, you got a rod. You got what? A rod, R-O-D. Yes, you want to make it a key, so you have to put the, the teeth on its tip. Got it? How you will put it? Yes, righteous good deeds. So these are the requirements of Iman, number one. And number two, these are the protection of Iman. If somebody is not practicing righteous good deed, so the treasury of his Iman is totally naked. Got it? And if you will put a bunch of dollars there on the roadside, so after 10-15 minutes you will come, you will find it. Why? Because that was naked. What? That was naked and so many people are waiting for such like bunch of dollars. Got it? Now Iman, how big and precious a treasury is? Number one. And number two, the thief or the looter of Iman, Iblis, how tactical he is. So when he will find that the treasury of Iman is total naked, not covered by Amal Saliha, by righteous good deeds. So that's an easy way for him to attack and to steal it. Got it? Yes. And thus, we have four ghilaf or covers for our Iman. Number one, the faraz. Number two, the wajib. Number three, the sunnah. Number four, the mustahabbat. So now look, look, this is Iman. This is Iman. When you are practicing faraz, you cover one. You are practicing wajib you put another lock. Got it? You are practicing sunnah the muakkad, a third one. Mustahabbat, the fourth one. Got it? Like a safe, inside safe, inside safe, inside safe. Got it? So that's why we have to do mustahabbat and nawafil as well. Yes? Otherwise, if we are not doing it, so it means that uh, one cover or one safe, we have thrown away ourselves. If somebody is not taking care of sunnati muakkad, so the second safe he has broken. Got it? So he is making shaitan job easy. Shaitan job? Easy. Illa allazina amanu wa hamilu swalihati. But those Amanu who believed Wamilu Swalihat and practiced righteous good deed, Falahum Ajurun Gheru Mamnoon, Falahum Ajurun Gheru Mamnoon, so for them there is a reward Gheru Mamnoon in Gheru Maktoon, or Gheru Munkatirin. They will be having an everlasting reward. They will be having the everlasting reward. Got it? And that's why people, they are looking for government job. They are looking for government job as long as they are working, they are taking salary. When they are retired, so they have an everlasting pension. You know what I am saying? So when you will do a last job, so you will be having an everlasting reward. So then what cause you, you kazibuka biddine? You kazibuka biddene to belay deen. To belay deen. Takzib mean belay. And belay mean you deny as well. Fama yu kazibuka. So what has caused you to belay or deny bado after this biddene the deen. So deen has two meaning. 
either Islam, why you deny Islam? Ardin yomul jaza, why you are denying the day of recompense? So what causes you to deny the recompense? Alayhi sallahu bi'ahkamil hakimil is not Allah the best judge? Alayhi sallahu bi'ahkamil hakimil is not Allah the best judge? So ahkam is a follow tafzeel from hukum and hukum mean judgment. Hukum mean what? Yes. Judgment. And another mean that is from ahkam. That from what? Yes. From ahkam and ahkam mean strength. Alayhi <laughs> sallahu is not Allah bi ahkam al hakimin the strong judge. What? The strong judge. Because so many judges they give their decree, but they cannot implement it. Yes, a guy is having the paper. Yes, yes, just say, lick it. Yes. <laughs> lick it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my judgment is not for licking. When I judge, right away I implement it. So, the brief summary of Surah at is, that Allah has created human beautiful, he is putting himself down. But not those who are strong in belief and righteous in deeds. Professor.